And now, now among those who went out to worship at the feast were some Greeks. So they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, and they said to him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Or, dot, 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 I want to see him. Let us pray. Gracious and almighty God, we know that we see you daily. We pray that you would help us to recognize you. Help us to be your face to the world. In your name we pray. Amen. Any theater people? Like theater and theater? Is now sort of in? I wish you could see your faces. All right. Um, any emoticon? Any textures? No? All right, do that. Oh, one. I'm with you. All right, do this. Look around at each other. All right, stop. That's enough. Stand up. Everybody reach up high. Sun says. Yep, everybody reach out to the side. All right, jump now. Turn your head to the right. Uh, turn your head to the right. Deep breath in and hold it. Now blow it out and go. All right, stop. Now look at each other. All right, sit down. We had a lot of different faces before this. I'm not saying anything beyond that. But after something silly and brief, like a stretch and a breath, we all smile. That's how fast it changes. Our faces can change as quickly as our moods. Have you ever seen the Olympics or Lance Armstrong when he when he was winning the uh, the, the Tour de France or even running them? That that face that you see on the athlete to the victors, it, it's a mix, isn't it? I mean, if you take it out of context, you can't tell if they're in joy or the worst pain in their lives. <laughs> if you put it into context, you realize it's both. We're seeing something truly dear. We do that all the time. Except ours isn't always as telling. Question for you. Who am I? I'm Matt. <laughs> I'm Matt. Who am I? Matt. Oh, now you get it. Doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> They're all the same. I'm me. Yet we try and use this to hide people, or to keep people from seeing who we are. Don't say you don't do it either. We use these faces and what we wear in our bodies to try and separate folks so that they can't see who we truly are. When we're hurting, when we're scared, when we're happy, when we're really afraid, Big faces. Yet people know who we are. In our text today, we have a group of Greeks that have come to see Jesus. Now, this is important. These folks have traveled from a completely different culture, different gods, different land, different clothes, different food, different roads. And they've come because they want to see Jesus. And they go to Philip. 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 They go to Philip because he sounds like one of them. He looks like one of them. And they say, we want to see Jesus. That's what we do, isn't it? We go into a strange place or a crowded room. We look for somebody who looks sort of like us. If we're really scared, we look for somebody who we think won't attack us. And we ask them for help. So these Greeks come to Philip and they say, we want to see Jesus. Question. Do you think they were scared or excited? Do you think excited? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's sort of like that Olympian face. We can't tell. All it says is we want to see Jesus. 
Strange people in a strange land asking a perfect stranger to go see who might be their savior. Sorry. The Greeks asked Philip, Phil, we want to see Jesus. What's Philip do? He goes to another Greek, passes the buck. He turns to Nathaniel. Said, Great! They want to see Jesus. Philip doesn't do it. He turns to somebody he trusts. And then together, they take everybody to Christ. This is where I'm getting at. We have two points for today's sermon. Not sad and happy, but two points that impact both the scripture and us today. And they're this. Number one, we are the face of Christ in the world. Now, I don't mean that you have to be wearing one of these, one of these, or acting churchish. I mean, we, as we are, whether it's our worst or our best, are the face of Christ in the world. You know why? Because who we are, as we are, speaks to a group of people out there. That's why we're made this way. So that being a group of Greeks, or in my case, a group of geeks, come in, they know that they can approach Christ through us. I mean, that's why God made them human. So that we can approach, we can understand, we can smell and feel and touch and ask and be afraid and happy together. And that's just as you are. Which means you are valuable in God's eyes, just as you are. That's point one. That's for you and for them. Point two is this. And this is probably even more important. When the Greeks came, they asked Philip. Philip turned to Nathaniel. Nathaniel turned to... Jesus Christ. People come to us with problems all the time that we don't know the answers to. What happens when they die? What am I going to do? And it's nice. Because our God doesn't call us to have the answers for him. Our God calls us to lead people to the answers. We don't even have to go the direct route. People come to us. We turn to somebody else. And together as a group, we turn to the one who has all the answers. The one who solves all the problems. The one who, happy or sad, day or night, life or death, rules. So those are our two points. So brothers and sisters, don't hide your face. Don't be ashamed of how you feel. And don't worry when you don't have the answers. What we have is something even greater. A God who made his son human to show us where to go. In his name we pray. Amen.